Hey everyone, I'm Laura and I'm back with another video. Today we're diving into a fascinating comparison that often sparks questions. Flipper Zero versus the Lily Goatee Embedded SP32S3. Visually they might share a similar compact appeal, leading many to wonder if they are direct rivals. But beyond the surface, these devices serve fundamentally different purposes. Join me to uncover the true strengths and limitations of each. Let's talk briefly, briefly about each. I'm going to start with Flipper Zero. This device has become incredibly popular as a multi-tool for hardware enthusiasts and ethical hackers. Widely used in cybersecurity. It's designed for immediate use, featuring an intuitive interface and preloaded functions. Let's quickly review its main capabilities. Settings, manage device preferences and configurations. Apps, launch various build-in tools for specific tasks. Sub gigahertz, read, transmit and analyze radio signals below 1 gigahertz. Sub gigahertz remote acts as an universal remote for compatible devices. RFID interact with low frequency access card and key fobs. NFC read, write and emulate high frequency tags and cards. Infrared learn and replay infrared signals for consumers electronics. GPU connect an external hardware module like this development board you see here. I button read read, emulate, and write physical access keys. Bad USB, emulate USB devices for automated computer tasks. U2F functions as a hardware security key for online accounts. And last, clock basic timekeeping and utility functions. A critical aspect that unlocks the Flipper Zero, its true uh, potential is its custom firmware ecosystem. Installing Unleashed was a game changer for me, not only adding advanced features, but also opening access to other community firmwares like Momentum and extreme. These dramatically expand the flipper's versatility and capabilities. Here I can do the updates and can switch to the firmware I want. In short, the Flipper Zero is a powerful, user-friendly multi-tool, constantly enchanted by its active community. Now let's briefly recap the Lily Go TM Bait SP32 S3. For a deeper dive I covered it in a previous video, link in the description. But for today understand it's primarily a development board. It integrates an SP32S3 microcontroller with a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and a CC1101 radio module for sub gigahertz communication along with a screen and GPO pins. Unlike the flipper, the TM bait it's a blank canvas requiring programming, for example, C++ or Python. 
to define its functions, offering ultimate customization. Now that we've quickly covered both devices, understanding the flipper's extensive capabilities and the TM Bates core development nature, let's jump straight into their direct comparison, clearly distinguishing how they stand apart point by point. Flipper Zero, a ready-to-use multi-tool with predefined applications. TM Bait, a development board for a building for building uh, custom programmable solutions. Easy to use. Flipper Zero, very user friendly, app driven, low learning curve for basic operation. TM Bait requires programming uh, knowledge and a higher initial learning curvage. Integrated functionalities hardware. Flipper Zero has many dedicated tools built in RFID, NFC, infrared, iBattle, subject gigahertz, U2F. TM Bait features core chips, Wi Fi, Bluetooth, sub gigahertz. Other functionalities are added via GPO with external modules and custom code. Flexibility and customization. Flipper Zero flexible through custom firmwares that enchants existing tools. TM Bait extremely flexible. You can program it into do virtual anything from scratch. Costs. Well, Flipper Zero generally higher priced as it's a finished integrated product. The embedded more affordable, consistent with its role as a core development board. Flipper Zero, quick testing, on the go, security audits, general tech exploration without extensive coding. TM Bait, building highly customized IoT devices, specialized communication tools and deep embedded systems development. Conclusion, rivals or complementary? In conclusion, the Flipper Zero and Liligo TM Bait are not rivals, but complementary tools. The Flipper Zero is your electric screwdriver, a powerful user-friendly tool ready to imitate for immediate tasks, especially with its robust custom firmware. The TM Bait, on the other hand, is your toolkit, an affordable platform where you can build your own custom solutions from scratch. They work together. Use the flipper to identify a problem or a protocol, and then use the TM Bait to create a custom specific solution. One provides instant capability the other one empowers limitless creation. I hope this comparison has clarified the differences and helped you better understand the potential of each device. And remember, the world of tech is vast. Stay curious, keep exploring and perhaps even write some code yourself. See you soon.